Well, hello, and thank you for hanging in there with me. It's been a couple of weeks since we last been together, but I would just like to say hello to my brick and mortar business owners, my home business owners, my entrepreneurs, my movers, my shakers, my dreamers and doers. My name is Cecilia Morris, and I am your engineer by education and your home business owner by t desire. And today we are going to talk about what is Takeaway Tuesday, something to help you build your mindset as an entrepreneur or a business owner or um, anyone that is stepping out on faith and pursuing pursuing your dreams you have to keep a positive attitude so since it is takeaway Tuesday and Tuesday we work on mindset I am going to talk to you about 10 tips to help you build and keep a positive attitude I first want to say thank you to everyone for all your prayers and well wishes and um, condolences over the loss of my fiance's father. It was really hard. It was very sudden, but your prayers and condolences definitely helped me get through that difficult time. And I also just want to say when it comes to keeping a positive attitude, um, it was definitely um, needed these last couple of weeks. As I said, it was very sudden and unexpected that he passed away. But the good thing about all of it is when you have a turnkey business like I do, even when you're not working, your business is still working for you. So I love the opportunities that having a internet base has afforded me. And let's talk about the administrative. For those of you who are joining me on this journey, please leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching from so I can give you a shout out. Also, if you are following me on Facebook, one of the things that I need you to do is hit the follow button and select notifications. So that way you'll be notified when I go live so you can join in on the party. All right, so with that being said, let's talk about Takeaway Tuesday and mindset and what it means to stay positive. When you are in business for or sometimes by yourself, it is very important that you stay positive. There will be those rough days where you think to yourself, what, what am I doing? Why did I get into this? Um, this is never going anywhere. One of the um, scriptures that I read this morning, excuse me, ah, my nose is still itching when I go live, but one of the scriptures that I read this morning was to keep it up, you know, keep going. The reason being is because in the end you will reap the harvest so that's one of the things that I've always done with my business is that I've always kept going even in the tough times and the way to do that is to maintain a positive attitude now, as always, I am not going to give you all 10. If you want the 10, you're going to have to click the link attached to this video, and you will be able to read the blog that will give you all the 10 tips to build and keep a positive attitude. But I will give you my top ones. The very first one, which is so important, is to associate with positive people. That is super, super important, and it is my number one, and it is number one on the list. I don't know if you've ever heard the saying, um, and if you have, just type a comment and say yes, but have you ever heard the saying that look at the top five people that you associate with, and if you are the most successful of those five people, then you need five new friends. That's not to say you need to get rid of those five friends, but you always want to be around people who can uplift you, who can help you improve, who you can be accountable to, um, they can be accountable to you. You want to stay around positive people. Being around positive people helps you be positive as well. Um, the next one is you want to take some time every day to accomplish a goal, whatever that goal may be. And those goals can change. Today, my goal is to get back on doing lives. I've missed being live with you and sharing valuable information with you that can help you build your brand and business online. So I have accomplished my goal today. Um, but then it can be other goals. Like one of my goals um, over the weekend, which may sound crazy, but it was to clean my kitchen. I mean, with everything going on, taking care of my father-in-law's affairs, um, a lot of things fell by the wayside. And one of them was my kitchen. It was pretty bad. But I accomplished that goal. Well, not completely, but I at least got it to where it is um, manageable. Um, but you want to set a goal and you want to make sure you accomplish that goal. And you need to have a goal. And sometimes you might have more than one. But you definitely want to set goals to be accomplished every day and when you accomplish those goals you want to check them off the list 
The next one that I think is important is you want to make a gratitude list. A gratitude list is things that you are thankful for. Um, it could be your health. It could be your children. It could be your spouse. It could be your parents. But it could be your job if you have one and you like it. It could be your home-based business. It could be the new leads that you woke up to um, in your email today. But you just want to make sure that you have a gratitude list because when you concentrate on the things that you are grateful and thankful and blessed for, to have, then you don't leave um, any room for negativity. So make a gratitude list and give thanks and be thankful for those things that you have. You also want to do something for someone or the planet or the universe every day. And that could be something as simple as um, making a $5 donation to your favorite charity. It could be something as simple as helping the little old lady or the old gentleman at the grocery store carry their um, groceries to their car. Um, it could be something as simple as getting your neighbor's uh, mail because they're elderly and um, the mailbox is at the end of the street. You don't want to go in their mailbox, by the way, but um, if you know your neighbors and situations like that, that's just some stuff I'm throwing out there at the top of my head. But the biggest thing is you just want to do something nice for someone else besides yourself. The universe has a way of paying us back those things that we do, and we often are not repaid by the person that we do them for, but the universe does recognize good for good. So when you put good out, you get good back. Um, you also want to acknowledge that um, something something nice something just give someone an acknowledgement give a compliment you know just say thank you basically you want to thank someone for helping you with something whether it be at work or it was a home project or um the guys who cut your grass whatever the case may be but you want to show gratitude towards others and lastly on my list is you want to look for what's right instead of what's wrong and that also goes in line with associate with positive people but you want to look for what's right you don't you want to go for the positive and not the negative. When you focus on positive things, then you are 10, 20, 50, 100 times more likely to stay positive as well. And when you're in business for yourself, it is super important that you maintain a positive attitude because positivity breeds positivity. And when you focus on what's right and not what's wrong, you will then get more of the right and less of the wrong. So those are my top on the 10 things to keep and build a or build and keep a positive attitude. Click the link attached to this video to watch the blog and leave a comment letting me know what the top ones are on your list. And as always, stay positive, my friends. My name is Cecilia Morris. I am your engineer by education and your home business owner by desire. Thank you for joining in with me this evening. Take care and God bless.